Moving on now to chapter 2, section 1, length or measuring our anatomy. The icon to perform a measurement is located in the upper left hand corner of the Easy 3D software which allow us to perform various measurements of either measuring the inside of the nerve of a tooth, measuring bone width, etc. To demonstrate the measurement or length icon, we'll first identify the icon in the upper left hand corner, left click, and in this first example perform a 2D measurement. From here I can then decide what I wish to measure, such as measuring bone height from the ridge to the sinus floor. I can also use it to measure bone width, such as clicking on measurement again, clicking on 2D, and measure, let's say, from the buccal plate to the lingual side, and generate a measurement there as well. I can also do what's called a 3D measurement, which will place the measurement on either the coronal, axial, or sagittal window, as well as place the measurement on our 3D rendering. To demonstrate that, I'm going to generate a measurement of our essential incisor using my sagittal view. I'm going to position my coronal line out here and then adjust it so I can see the entire length of my tooth in my sagittal window. So where this line identifies through the length of my tooth from the apice to the incisal edge, I can now see the entire length of the essential incisor. As a tool that I can use, if I find that these lines are distracting as I'm trying to perform a measurement in this case here, there's an on and off switch for these lines. By selecting the enter key on your keyboard, you can either hide these lines, left click again on the enter key to display the lines once again. By selecting enter, I'll hide these lines, and if I wish to be more precise in my measurement, I can also maximize my window here left click on length and then left click on 3D. Click once at the apice of my tooth, left click once on the incisal edge, and now I've placed my measurement here on my central incisor on my sagittal view and it also added the dimension here on my 3D rendering here as well. At this point in time, pause the video once again and open the Easy 3D software to practice with the measurement or length icon.